let's bring out our sexy garbage man to help us take the trash out. <laughs> Disorder called Big Knee. Um, she's big, got big Knee? She's got a big knee. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, I think that it's fussy because of the tattoos. It basically looks like she raped him up and on the way. No, but then look at all the feathers and it's very pointy and then there's lace and then yeah. there's illusion sheerness. And her it's big knee. You forgot her big knee. Okay, Robert, <laughs> who's in third place for a mess? I am sorry to say, Miss St. Evans. Let me say I love Faith Evans, and I hate when people say this, but I am going to say this. I love her, but this is the Grammys, not the Grannies, and that is too old a look. The, that fur boa is totally wrong. If she's going to go fur at the Grammys, go full-on Diana Ross, Liberace, Kate Fur. You don't, you don't need to wear that squirrel. Yeah, she's wearing a stole. That's called a stole. Yeah. And ladies, remember, if you have a lot of tat back. tattoos, <laughs> tattoos are an accessory. So you got to think about your tattoos as a part of the look. You can't add on on top of a sleeve. But I That's did the love problem. The, I did love that this is a classic slip dress. It's an ivory slip dress. With a gorgeous can, um, train, and it's it's lovely. But I just I do agree that the soul is a bit much. <laughs> you don't know that she didn't pay for it. Why are you saying she stole it? <laughs> okay, Lloyd, who comes in uh, second place with a mess? Oh God! A mess. <laughs> this is Florence Welch of Florence and the Machine. Ladies, let's get to the bottom of this. There's a few problems here. Number one, this is Gucci, but you would never know it. I say we should call Tom Ford back to Gucci, yes? I think we need him back. Number two, the silhouette can be very matronly, kind of like the women of the Mormon community. Plus, I would wear this entertaining my family at Thanksgiving in the house. Right, it's, it's beautiful for that. Absolutely, and when you're gonna do moons and stars, like a childlike kind of approach, you have to be extremely gorgeous in your hair and makeup. But she didn't give you glamour on the face or hair. Well, I have to point out that this is one of the most successful collections that Gucci has done since the Tom Ford era. This is, if this is a big collection for them. Right. It's been editorialized everywhere, and you're going to see a lot of it on the red carpet. Well, so. even Gucci makes a mistake. Yeah. But people are buying it, though, Wendy, so yeah, it's but, a mistake. Well, cults love it. Cult communities love it. The people this. are smoking with their dollars, darling. I love, I love this, too, but not on the red carpet. Yeah, not I think on the that, red carpet. The, the, the music community has a great opportunity at the Grammys to be really outrageous and wear exciting things that you couldn't see on other red carpets, so that's why I like this. But I did, to Lloyd's point, I agree with the note on the hair and the makeup. But I love okay. this. And the award for the messiest look of the night, number one. The mess! <laughs> Joy Vila, I don't know you, dear. I'm so sorry that you came out of the house like this. I don't know what you're wearing, but you know, you got us talking here uh, on the panel, so I guess all of that sensationalism work. This is not her first time doing something like this for attention. Uh, take a look at. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you know what, Wendy? I interviewed her last year when she wore the creation on the right, that kind of Home Depot-inspired look. And she talks about the fact that she is an artist, a performance artist, and she was there for shock value. We didn't know her name until now, so mission accomplished. Now yeah. we know her name. Good for you. Good for you, Joy. Yeah. Good for you, Joy. Yeah. Shock value. Yeah. So there you have it. Our messiest red carpet looks. <laughs> and since you all dressed a mess, we're sending you these garbage cans <laughs> to throw those outfits away. Up <laughs> next, we're revealing the fiercest looks of the night. 
with our Style Squad Awards. Don't go far.